This is another video in our marginal hit series. So while yes, it's a hunt, it also includes voiceover analysis of a bad shot. So this is for informational purposes in case you make a bad shot. And it's also for your enjoyment. So we hope you learned something.
guys one this morning. It was right in front of me at like seven yards, but it was the only place where Bruce couldn't shoot, so we kind of got screwed. And we'll see if we can make a, a buck happen for Bruce. So we have uh, tonight and then tomorrow morning that we gotta get out of here. So we got us here and then Bruce and my, uh, sorry, Uncle Brian and my dad are up top. And uh, they're running all day, so we, we can see something at any minute. Let me show you what we're dealing with. This is Bruce's buck that we shot uh, in a weekend, and check out this shot. And Dad, let me know what you think about it. Um, this one isn't going to hit behind the shoulder, but actually in front on a slight angle. Legal. on the right there. You Actually, can see the blood coming out of that front right there. Yeah, and you think that deer's, I mean, to me that was a good shot. A little bit low, and it, but it was in front of the right uh, left shoulder and it probably come out around the right shoulder somewhere. But it definitely looks like a good hit. You gotta watch body language of the deer, what it does. It, I mean, what did that deer do after he hit it? So it went and laid down, and it laid down for like, an hour yeah and it well, kept moving a little bit I said and I expected it to die seeing all that blood coming out of the chest but it didn't and it kind of came hit right here and it exited maybe right down here and I thought it would definitely die and it and it didn't and then we kind of like it was going real slow we kind of ended up chasing it up the hill there and Bruce was real on it well, and we saw the bubbles in the blood. It, didn't it lay down for an hour? Yeah, it did. And Bruce grunted. Yeah, grunted, and then it got up and tried to start walking. For whatever away. reason, that grunt made that deer get up and take off. Mm -hmm. As soon as I got them where I saw the deer last, they found blood. It was everywhere. Yeah, it was a good amount of blood, but it was like it was so much blood. We we thought he would have died a lot sooner, but we ended up chasing him a couple hundred yards, and we didn't leave him lay because he kept sitting there. And when he was laying there, he's licking his front and it, this isn't a situation where we're talking about oh if we hit it at this organ we have to give him this much time we knew that we needed to keep this deer's heart rate up and pump out more blood and eventually he would die and that's exactly what happened i mean this is a rare marginal hit where you want to push a hit deer like that um just because we knew he was kind of hit maybe in one lung and it, it's actually survivable they can live in one lung but we didn't want that to happen we just knew that we needed to stay on the deer because it could move as soon as we grunted, it would move like 100 yards. We didn't want to deal with that later. So we could definitely push this one, and that was the right thing to do. Yeah, if you, if you got heavy blood, you keep fall, and after it's laid for an hour, and it's heavy blood, just keep pushing. Stay on the trail. As long as you got the heavy blood, it's going to run out of blood eventually.
Oh yeah. That's right, kind of right where it looked like on the vid. Quality chalk is already just jugular. Yeah. Pull, pull, pull them up again. Yeah, so it went in right there and exited. Hit him in the far side leg. Yeah, wow. Yeah, you almost missed him, man. Bruce and Brian here. Pretty eventful weekend, tagged out in Pennsylvania. Completely tagged out. Um, had a really nice eight point this morning, couldn't get a shot, the tree stand was in the way. And uh, I was itching to shoot one, pulled a bad shot on a doe last night. <laughs> Took a couple target practices, knew I was on, but uh, it's like being a new bow hunter again. Every season's different, it's a lot of fun probably track this buck. I hit him right in the front. I pulled the shot because I was trying to watch the arrow hit. It's a bad habit. Practice more. Um, not my biggest buck. I don't think he's my smallest either. But uh, this, this is good eating. And we tracked this guy 300 yards. We watched him bed. He kept getting up. And then we started pushing him. And uh, well here you go. Got it on film. Thanks Brian. You got it, man. I think pushing them is the right idea. Yeah, so. that's stressful, man. Yeah. I don't that, like doing that. This is a unique one. Something like this will probably never happen again. I, I got video of him walking, like, and he looked fine. Yeah. I'll show you when we were stalking yeah, him. But. Not, not a good shot, but, you know, thanks for encouraging me to track him. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Because <laughs> we listened to Big Al's video. advice, too. Yeah, Big Al. All right, well, hey, let's get him out of here and uh, go get the quad. I think, I think my dad's calling me right now, so okay. congrats, buddy. Just getting back to the quads here. I'm gonna go pick him up for him. And we gotta go get our stand at the bottom of the hill. It's gonna be a long night before we get to Ringy Dinks and get a sandwich, but five deer confirmed down. Two days, that's awesome.